Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of Try Gun Stampede. So let's go to get started in, hold on, I gotta make sure this is correct, <laughs> in 3, 2, 1, go. episode gonna make me like <laughs> care for him don't do that i mean you know technically i had a love-hate relationship with him in the original series but oh Oh. You know, destroy the world. I swear to God, if this episode makes me care for him. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's interesting just in the first couple, because we're, like, we're like, well, it's two minutes in there. Not about, okay. Literally just seeing them both at the piano and Knives is just, he's fully into it and then here comes Vash and he literally looks at him like, why are you here? Why are you stepping on to my territory? And you know, Vash is just like, I just want to have fun. Like, cutie patootie, like, damn. <laughs> oh my god, he does not, he just can't stand his brother. Oh my god. But, I mean, hey, I get it, I get it. Yeah, this is a boring rivalry. <laughs> no, that's your brother. Don't be a dick. Yes. <laughs> mm. So they're dying.
Your blood is on their hands. I mean, really, no. Their blood is on your hands. Mm. Bullshit. Don't say that. Don't speak for them. Yeah, I wouldn't touch him if I was you because he might do. <laughs> it's too late he's already doing it bye bye nice to meet you oh And here she comes. Be like, yes, I'm going to die. I know it, but I'm going anyway because you got to save him. Ah. Oh. Comes the reinforcements. Now you're over here, like, you know what? Genocide? Yes, that's okay. I'm over here, like, nah, bro. Nah, can we hear them out? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Excuse me. You're about to kill them all. Oh, damn. I mean, gore wise, thank you. Yeah. You're about to die now. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Can't have that. I swear to God, do not do that. You care for her, don't you? About to do it quick.
Oh, but he will, baby. Now, is this supposed to be the thing that takes off his arm? I thought it would get cut! I, I mean... But no, never mind, never mind. Ooh. Hold up. This thing, like, Moroku's freaking wind tunnel? Oh, okay. No, so I was right. Oh. Once again, we are continuing the year of let's cut people's arms off. Damn. Cut them off. Cut them off. It's okay. They only need one arm. Cut it off. Take it off. Is she not going to die? I was wrong. Oh my god. I don't know why I thought he would be dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you shut up. A hundred and fifty years. Well, yes. Let me put your hands down. I'm like, damn, that's so fucking old. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just eternal, semi, eternal sleep until you wake up. And then, you know, because cryo space, and then you wake up, and you continue. Okay, now I'm getting fails to, um... What's that damn game? Oh my god. There's so many visual novels I'm thinking of right now. It's that one visual novel where it has multiple endings. That can literally be anything, right? But, um, it had to deal with space time. It's not Stein's Gate. Because Stein's Gate do anything like this. Oh my god. I don't remember. Shit. It's pretty.
I'm also getting fills from that one show I reacted to on um Patreon with um Sabres VA. Something some firefighters, I believe. We all would already be dead probably by the time that happens. You would never get to see that. At least she's positive about that though. <clears throat> right? I mean, because in a way it's like a dying planet for a sand. <laughs> right? <laughs> but did she have that shirt? <laughs> No, I don't think so. But what if you can't save your brother? What if he's already dead? Like, how many more episodes we have left of the show? Remember when the when this tweet came out for this show for this episode, they was like, "Oh, we're almost at the end," and we were like, "What?" Uh oh, what happened? Oh my fucking god. Okay, where's Meryl and Roberto? Uh, well, well, there she is. Right? That's what I want to know. No. Kind of. <laughs> this fucking little kid. Oh my god. Whoa! I mean, damn, you don't immediately shoot someone. <laughs> Plus, you can't kill him.
Okay. Yep, and then you know what? Because of someone, it's always because somebody fucked up. Of course. Of course, yes. Pollution, everything else. You screwed the earth up and it died. God. <laughs> I don't like the sound of the music change. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna find out though anyway, right? I mean, is that a trick question? Are we gonna get hurt if we answer wrong? I mean, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just being honest because, um, hey. In this situation, this is a right or wrong answer. You say the wrong thing, you're probably going to get yeeted. You're probably going to die, and we don't want that. But it's okay. Vash is on the way to save his girlfriend. That's all that matters. <laughs> and, and, you know, Roberta. Read <laughs> towards him. Well, well, not anymore. I, I mean... Once again, this, yeah, I, I think what, like episode three, four, where it was just like, yeah, we're not killing Precious Baby Tall Girl Billy. It's okay. <laughs> we have to accept. <laughs> so it's just now we're just accepting him. And the, once again, there are times where I agree with Roberto, and then there are times where I'm like, no, sir. <laughs> but okay, I am glad. Vash's quote unquote mother figure, not Rum, the other one. She didn't die. I mean, you know how like when you see the signs and they're all there, you you immediately I think everybody saw that last week. We all did. And I was like, okay, she's dying next week. Da 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 da. We're gonna find out how he loses the arm, cliche and such. <laughs> because of course that is important and such as well okay we're gonna talk about that too well, why it's very similar to a hint hint nudge nudge kingdom hearts <laughs> um but okay to so ask to ask a question on that like the gate thing did that only come up because he was so angry at nine and such or something because they like it's confusing, so I hope they give, like, maybe a little more context value on that, but possibly not. I'm guessing because we are, once again, still very close to the end of this, even though still, I have no idea how many episodes we're going to get. I, I don't still think no one, no one but Studio Orange knows how many episodes are for this show. And, you know, we're all sitting here looking like chickens with our head off, like, you know, hey, you said the end last week on Twitter. That we're reaching the end of this show, possibly. So we're ending in at least 11, 12, 13, 14 episodes, right? Maybe. But at the same time, I feel like, well, if this was announced as a two cure series, then they would have announced it, I think, by the end of episode one when we initially started this. But we're on episode nine. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, uh, okay. This is. <laughs> uh, one of my little really kind of wishes that I really wish that I could have done with a save for like th this is for, ba for Vash and Nine. I kind of wish they were both played by the same person. 
and such. I don't know why. It's something about when I have when you hear like a say you or an actor, actress in movies or TV shows or whatever, when they're playing fifty out of fifty if they're playing siblings, and technically they are fraternal twins or just twins in general and stuff. Um Fifty out of fifty, they might have the same similar type of voice and stuff. So I initially thought that's what they were going to do with both Vash and Nine, but I'm surprised that they didn't do that. But it still would have been interesting to have those both halves and stuff. It's very similar to like the Chini Boo, <laughs> the Kill Annie, what Chini Boyo? I think that's how you say it. Yeah, um, the guy from that show and his say you. There's Jun freaking Yama, aka my other freaking. Anime has Bondo say you ish because that that's Joker. That's Lelouch v Britannia for Christ's sake. And every single time when he played the character that he was playing in that show, and then he would literally sound either a little bit of a mixture of Lelouch and Joker. I'm over here like, please stop. I can't. This is too much. But always excited at the same time too. But I love how they expressed or really showed how important that moment of the gate popping up. Once again, like I said, we're gonna, gonna go into a little teeny tiny bit spoiler territory for Kingdom Hearts and such. So this is a really weird moment. So at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1, when Mickey shows up and da 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 this is 7th third, if you kind of know like the, the history of it and everything, there's a point where he knows, where you know he's in like the realm of darkness and he's looking for Aqua at that point. Okay, so Mickey... <laughs> this is stupid. You're probably gonna be like, what the heck? Um... There's a point where Mickey is wearing like his normal outfit and such, but in the first game, he's only he he's not wearing a shirt. He's only wearing like pants. And so Namora don't know why he did this. He was just like, oh my god, this is so important. This has to be in here. Just as much with the gate thing, because of course the gate thing is very important because we need to know how his arm got cut off. I mean, yes, because a lot of people are going to be curious about that and wanting to know. So in the end, the freaking Heartless in the Realm of Darkness took his freaking shirt off and that's how Mickey was ended up like half naked at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 slash 2.5 of, Bur no, 2, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2, birth by sleep of fragmentary fascists. Boom, there we go. And it, it just, it gave me feels towards that where I was like, for a moment, it didn't seem like necessary. But then at the same time, I'm like, yes, this is necessary because of course, people are going to wonder initially, how did he get this robotic arm? Da, 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 da. So context clues. And that is fine. But okay. Even with Nicholas, I was all like, all right, you, you want to kill your brother? Are you okay with that? Um, but Vash has the, you know, hero tendency of wanting to save everyone. And like I said, at the end of the day, what if you can't save him? What is he, what if he, what if he is unsavable? Really think about that at the end of the day. And that's why I feel like we're getting into that where it's like, yes, he can try to save as much people as he can, but in the end, the one person that he wants to save the most, aka his brother, but I feel also the same way it is Meryl. Um, that is the one person who is unsavable. Like, no matter what the hell you do for him, you can't save him. Which sucks, because you want him to have a better relationship with his brother, but his brother just, he sees red all the time around him. Plus, I feel like, once again, as I said in the beginning, he's very jealous of Vash. I mean, Vash is this, you know, happy go sunshine baby boy, pretty boy. We love him so much. While Nye is the black sheep of the two. Um, initially, if you had to choose between the two, which one you would approach, everybody would say Vash. And then maybe a couple of people would say Nye. And so... There's a lot of anger and hatred and resentment that Nye unfortunately feels for his brother, which freaking sucks. But hopefully, here's hoping everything's gonna be okay, maybe. Other than that, guys, that is my action to episode 9 of Trigun Stampede. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday. Yes, I'm hoping because I should be off. I had to work yesterday and it, even though I was only there for three hours. But still, you should see me. I, I should because I, I should be off. 
the next time that I have to work on Saturday is like on the 25th and probably the first time I roll the shit. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.